Sadam, so welcome back to Super Zombie Player. As you can see by this beautiful title splash screen, I am gonna be playing Twilight Princess HD because I am Nintendo trash and I bought that shit. I pre ordered it immediately. The special edition with the Wolf Link amiibo, which, let me just tell you, looks real good. Now I'm just. The, the second file is Alex's. I haven't started this yet. I have briefly watched him playing it, but I haven't actually played it myself. And now I will begin the game that I paid for twice. <laughs> this is literally the same game. This is prettier. And apparently they made a couple of small changes, but for the most part, it's the same game. You know, this is, how many times have I done this? Fucking, why is it doing this? Okay, I'm gonna be boring and just name it my own name because I can. Okay, cool. Horse! What's the horse gonna be called? Um, Danny Sex Bang. No. <laughs> Maybe actually. That would be fun. Would that be fun? I'm gonna call it Sex Bang. <laughs> um, never you mind that Epona is a girl. It doesn't matter. Gender is a construct. Okay. Uh, this is so interesting. Typing out the fucking. Did I spell that right? No, the N is right below the A. I know letters, shut up! <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm ready. Let's do this. Yes, please, normal mode. I am not about hero mode. No. <laughs> no, thank you! Okay, so, I have indeed played Twilight Princess at least once. I don't even remember if I've played it any more than that, but, um, I, as you may know, have no memory for games, and... I'm gonna basically be playing this like I've never played it before because I just, as soon as I finish a game, it's just gone from my brain forever. Anywho, there's dialogue happening and I'm just ignoring it. You have very interesting facial hair, sir, and I am including eyebrows in that assessment. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough to talk of sadness, I have a favor to ask of you, Shabnam. Well, first of all, can I ask you, why are you doing with a girl's name? <laughs> I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task said to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? Do fucking why? Do your own damn favors that you offered. Ugh. Oh, are you just saying that as like an excuse to get me off to fucking Hyrule? Like this is you doing me a favor? Is that what it is? Because I've never left my village because I'm a lowly farm boy. Is that is that the situation here? Um, I mean that's cool. Respect. I get it. You're trying to. To fucking okay. The Ordonians have, like, this uniform that they all wear with that, like, there's a tunic and there's, like, the pants and the ropes and the layers and there's, like, belt thing and all these straps and belts and shit. It's like, okay, somehow it all works because they're all wearing the same thing and, like, oh, it's this rural farming village and whatever, so maybe that's just how their fashion sense has evolved. But, like, honestly... I want to know the thought process and the inspiration behind these costumes. Is it like a real, like, based on any real cultural things or anything? Or is it just somebody at Nintendo one day sat down and designed this just out of their brain hole without really any outside influence? Like, they're wearing fucking boleros, but like with only one sleeve strapped to their chests with belts. And there's like the belt. Th oh, it's a rainbow. This is so pretty. <laughs> HD Remake! Yeah, um, this is... I don't know how many... Let's see. Um, if you count Fire Red and Leaf Green, there was that. Um, though I only bought one of those. And there was... Um, I mean, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire ended up being kind of completely different games. But then... Um, fucking... What do you call it? Super Mario 64 DS. I had that. Um, there's, you know, Ocarina of Time 3D, which I just ordered because I just released it on, uh, Nintendo Selects at a deep, deep discount from what it's been going for. I say just, I don't know when this episode is going up. It's already out by the time this goes up. Anyway, um, and of course, Majora's Mask 3D. Like, I just keep buying these HD re-releases, and I'm not even sorry. <laughs> I am Nintendo trash. And, by the way, in the spirit of rampant consumerism and money grubbing, um, I will make a confession. I am a Starbucks Gold member, and I have been for a few years, and, um, I haven't gone for several months. <laughs> hey, where's Sex Bank? I don't know, probably California. Um, I have not gone in a few months, and I got a little a notification, like, last week saying, you need three stars to maintain gold, and... 
Holy shit, man, I'm sorry about your face. Jesus fucking Christ, what does that thing look like? It looks like some cartoon character. I can't even think what it is, but it- oops. <laughs> okay, okay, jeez, where the fuck- okay, this way I guess he wants me to go. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, any normal fucking person whose card privilege thing is about to expire because they literally haven't been to the place in six months would- be like, oh, well, okay, I'll just let it expire because I don't go there anymore. But not I. No, I actually, I went. I just went to Starbucks three times in the span of a week and a half to maintain gold. And I got the last one this morning just fucking because. So I bought the overpriced ass fucking food and tea and shit just to maintain my gold status just in case I should want to start going to Starbucks again. Fucking... Oh, I fell for it. I fell for the rampant consumerism because that's that's the way it is. I wa <laughs> I watched Sex Bang for you. <laughs> oh, Alex gave me this idea, and I said I wasn't going to do it, but I've done it, and now I'm glad. <laughs> this is going to be great. Um. Um. Yes. Yep. And then, like, the fucking lamest secret agent ever, when I came back in after getting my, my forced consumerism overpriced breakfast this morning, fucking came into my apartment and said to myself, there is no one else here, said to myself, gold status recovered. Like, the lamest secret agent ever. I'm not going this way yet. Um, turn around, turn around, turn around. Holy, controlling the horse is challenging. Was it always this hard? Um, anyway, you know what the really sad thing is? I don't even like coffee. I just get tea. Like, you can just fucking make tea anytime. But no, no, no. It has to be fucking Starbucks. I have got a problem. <laughs> well, at least the tea is cheaper than the coffee. Except for when you get the Starbucks refreshers, which is, of course, what I did this morning. But you know what? It's a beautiful day, and treat yourself. That's right. Okay. Anywho. Starbucks. Yep, I have it right here. It's full of like raspberries and shit. I don't know. It's delicious though. Mmm! Everything's so pretty and green. It's beautiful. I don't. Because I don't really remember the first game because of my shit memory, um, I don't really know how to compare the two, but it does seem more saturated and pretty full. Yes. Trot, trot, trot. Um. Should I find Mr. Horseman? Not Horseman, Mr. Swordman. You. How do I control this game? Okay, here we go. Ah, great timing, Shabnam. No, no, he needs a better voice. Ah, great timing, Shabnam. There was something I had forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod so the two of you can play together. You should finish it today so you can come get it at the house tomorrow. All right. Meanwhile, Colin and his mom are just kind of awkwardly fucking standing there. Um. You need me to do something, right? Ooh, something looks like you're going to help Plato. Good job! He ended up in the match ahead of you. You finish up your chores before the sun goes down. Who's Fado? Which one's Fado fucking... Isn't that like the name of a sage in Wind Waker or some shit? I don't fucking remember these things. Horsey, 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 horsey! <laughs> nice, nice cinematic pan reveal shot of a... Ranch? Okay. Oh, good. It's time to wrangle some goats. Are they goats? Right? That's what they are? Seriously, dude, your head. I'm sorry about your head. <laughs> but at least, you know, you're strong. I can see you've got muscles, so that's okay. I mean, you're a rancher. I feel like the muscles are the- For real, though! What is with that head? <laughs> that shape of noggin! This is very inefficient, one at a time, but it's okay. Look at the little trot! They're so cute! Oh my god, these goats are adorable. Fucking... I don't know how to hoard, hoard goats. I'm a dragon whose hoard is goats. It's it's snack time for later. <laughs> I mean, dragons would eat goats, would they not? Props! That that one that one asshole dragon in um, Game of Thrones fucking burned one to a crypt just for shits and giggles. To a crypt. <laughs> Not to be confused with burning it to a bloods, I guess? Was that a bad thing? Oh, it just fucking went in on its own. Alright, sweet. Um, boy, this beginning part of this game is just all filler tutorial shit. <laughs> is there even a timer? There isn't one, is there? 
There isn't. Go in the fucking... There you go. Oh, there's three more and they're just chilling back here. Okay. Okay. We're, no, we're good. We're good. Here we go. I'm whooping. I'm whooping. I'm whooping. I'm whooping. No, that's fine. Take the long way. I don't even care. Uh-oh, that one's mad. I didn't know they could get mad. What the fuck? I have never had that happen before. Okay, apparently if you whoop too much, they get angry. Good to know. Um... Okay, angry goat man. You're not a man, you're just a goat. Uh, uh, maybe you're a goat man. Maybe you are a goat man. No, you're just a goat. I was trying to, like, come up with a Trogdor joke, but it, my brain is not functioning properly right now. <laughs> Trogdor was a man. He was a goat man. Well, maybe he was just a goat. <laughs> no, 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 please, no, please, no, please don't. Fucking angry ass, it's the same fucking, just go in the hole. Okay, there you go. Fucking, Jesus fucking angry goat fucking, fucking. Ugh. Oh, but, uh, how about today? Wanna we'll practice with fences? Just wait a spell, but I'll get them fences set up. Oh, that's right, they're supposed to be like southern. Should probably give them southern accents, not fancy British. Although that guy seemed a little extra special fancy pants for someone living here because, like, you know, he's some sort of knight or some shit. He's got a sword, he like looks well put together, he's got that very special fucking facial hair. I don't really need to practice with the fences, bro. I know how to ride a horse. I say as I run into the door. <laughs> Can you not leave? Do you have to like do a certain number or like keep practicing till the night? Well, it's night now. That is a nice um, callback to Ocarina, where you ride off the fence of the farm with, or the ranch with your horse over the fence to 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 save her, basically. Only she's she's already yours in this one, but it's a nice homage. Thank you. Oop. Screen goes white. What's happening? Oh, it's tomorrow. It's the morning. It doesn't matter what happened to it. What is that? Is it just a rupee chilling in the ground? Yes, it is. Hey. Yes! Yes, my favorite Zelda trope. Link needs to be woken up in the morning by people yelling at him for sleeping in. That's my favorite thing. I love the little tropes that have, like, permeated through the games through the years. Like, it's awesome. I like it. It's cute. Um... Also, Link doesn't have a bed. He just... I don't know how he sleeps. He just doesn't have a bed. Do I need a lantern to find whatever's down here? Because there's something down here. I think I do. It's very dark in my basement. I don't know where I am anymore. I have made a grave mistake. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Damn! Talk about scary-ass basements, and plus this one is a ladder, not stairs. Like, if anybody has the right to be scared of what's in his basement, it's Link. Like, hot damn. For real though, he doesn't have a bed. Does he just sleep on the fucking floor? I mean, I guess that's good for your back. But, uh... Not... Not... I mean, I kind of feel bad. Like, you need something soft to rest on after a long, hard day of being a rancher, right? Oh! Shut up! Did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now! A slingshot! You want to advertise. I wonder how powerful it is. I need. I must try it. <laughs> you are so creepy. Talo, if you and Molo want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. <gasps> Did you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford- Oh, I accidentally skipped it. You know I get in trouble for that. If you two want it, I keep skipping the- oh. <laughs> What the fuck? You weird, creepy man baby. But our allowances are terrible. Aw, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. What the fucking? So I need to make some- Hello, creepy child staring at my horse. What's up? Aw, cute. What the fucking stupid? What? Okay. Oh, you're just trying to direct me to do the other side questy shit. Um, I need money to buy a slingshot. There's a bunch of shit I have to do. Oh, hey! Five rupees! Yeah! 
Alex is really mad about the fact that it doesn't say blue rupee. It says five rupees in blue text instead. Um, but personally, that has no bearing on anything, in my opinion. So whatever. <laughs> Ooh, money. Money in the grass. If only that's how the real world worked. Where there's just money sitting in the grass. Like it ain't no thing. Hells yeah. How much muns do I have now? Twelve. Not even halfway there. Well, f fucking fine! Jeez, be that way. Fuck me for wanting to travel faster. Okay, next time on Super Zombie Player, I guess I'll go make enough money to buy a slingshot and do some errands for people or some shit. Okay, peace, love, and geekdom! Goodbye!